So gang, would it seem ungrateful if someone who said this to me? I like the way she does her videos. They're, they're pretty good. Is someone I then subsequently pwned? Well, let's get it on. Allow me to introduce Inventor Gorilla. I only know of his existence thanks to a video made by Soretta Yuki, to whom you should all be subscribed, by the way. And I have to say, Gorilla, you're quite the chowder monkey. I have a lot of, um, I'm subscribed to, um, more atheists than I am subscribed to theists. Well, that's certainly a step in the right direction. Why are there so many atheists spending so much time trying to um, debate or to, um, you know, just rally against God, something they don't believe in? Well, you see, we're not. We're not rallying against God. We're rallying against you. We're rallying against God's followers. Why? Because they're hurting people. That's why. I fight against religion not because I don't believe in God, but because the people who do believe in God are making assholes of themselves. In my direction. In the direction of people I care about. In the direction of people I don't even know, but who don't deserve it. That's why. You know, I must have seen like three or four videos on the existence of hell. You know, by atheists. Okay, well... Suppose there was a rule out there in the world somewhere. You know, nobody is allowed to walk on the left-hand side of the street unless they're carrying a flower. I don't know, I'm making this shit up as I go along. But just suppose. And suppose that that, 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 that law is backed up by killer cyborg ninjas, right? If you're walking on the wrong side of the street with your flower or without the flower, uh, the cyborg ninjas are going to kill you. So everyone better have their flower. Be afraid. Be very afraid or the ninjas will get you. The cyborg ninjas. Okay. But there are no cyborg ninjas. They're, they're, they're not really there. I mean, you know, people are being scared of nothing. It's the same way with hell. I bet you there's someone out there who's terrified, terrified of hell. And all they need to know is that it's not actually there and the terror goes away. Sure, maybe to you that means that they'll end up doing stuff they shouldn't do, you know, because they're only not doing it because of the fear of hell. So what? Okay, why not just show them that whatever it is they're not supposed to be doing is causing people pain, is hurting them, that it's wrong to do, that if they're allowed to do it, why can't someone else do it back to them? That's what all justice is based on, is if you do the wrong thing, we are going to punish you for it. If you do something that hurts other people, we will punish you. We will make sure that you pay for your transgressions. And you guys have foisted that duty off onto God and or Satan to punish people for their misdeeds. But God and Satan don't exist, it's just humanity. But you want people to behave when there's no one looking, don't you? You want them to think the right way. Well. I'm sorry, but lying to them about the existence of hell is still lying. I'm pretty sure that's against one of your fucking commandments or something. So, no, I'm sorry, but uh, we talk about hell to prove that you're lying sacks of crap. That's why we talk about it, to say, hey, this thing you're scared of, it ain't real. Some people need to be told. We're not trying to convince ourselves. We're trying to convince the gullible that you've badgered into believing you. It's that simple. You know, I saw uh, at least two videos. Another, you know, God isn't real and subjective morality and this. I mean, it's just, it's unbelievable. Why do you guys spend so much time on a subject that you don't even believe in? Two words, buddy boy. Self-defense. You see, if we didn't talk about this stuff, if we didn't argue about it, you guys would get your way. And we wouldn't. We'd get the short end. We have to talk about it because you won't leave us the hell alone. 
I think it's really strange. I think psychologically or subconsciously, I think you guys do believe. If I were to face palm as much as I feel like I should right now, I'd decapitate myself. <sighs> Not this crap again. No, we don't fucking believe. We argue against you because you're hurting people. You complain at us for ramming religion down other people's throat, okay, which is something I don't do. Um, I don't do it to my kids, and I don't do it to strangers on the street. I don't do it to my friends. Um, I just, I don't do that. Well, good. I mean, I hope that's true. I hope you're being completely truthful here. But the thing is, you're not the only religious person in the world. You're not. And some of them are real assholes about it. And they need to be fought against, even if you don't. And, hey, for all I know, you're telling a pack of lies here, and you really are just as pushy as the rest of them. I don't know you. But maybe you're telling the truth. Doesn't matter. Point is that we have to fight against this because otherwise we lose. We lose out. We lose our freedom. We, we lose our rights. We lose everything because the religious win and we have to live in a freaking theocracy. We have to behave like we're religious even when we're not. I'm fighting against that, pal. You guys... It's perfectly fine for you to go and ram your non-belief down people's throat. No, we don't. We don't ram our non-belief down people's throats. What we do is fight against religious oppression. If we didn't fight, if we didn't do what was necessary to maintain our freedom, to do and be who and what we are, all of that, then religion would run roughshod over us. We'd have to behave like you people whether we believed or not. I mean, think about it. Lesbian. I'd have to hide that. I'd probably have to get married to a fucking guy. I don't want to do that. But if I let religion have its way, that's what I'd be forced into. Either that or death. And as it is, I still can't get married. I meet the girl of my dreams. I'm not allowed to get hitched. I mean, okay, I can move back to my old home state of Vermont where they've finally progressed enough that you can get married there, but I hated living there. I mean, it's so cold in the winter, I get allergies in the summer, it's muggy as hell at times, I, you know. I mean, it's great to visit and all, and I do like a lot of the people, but I'm sorry, I don't want to live there. I live in Seattle, and this is where I want to stay for a while. I just got a kick-ass new apartment, but I couldn't marry my girl here. I mean, if I find the girl of my dreams, I'm not allowed. There's a lot of other things you can't do. Think about stem cell research. Think about abortion. Think about all kinds of things. Hell, you know what caused 9-11? Religion. We're fighting a battle of self-defense here. We're, we're waging a fight against religion that wants to make life worse for the entire planet. That's what's going on. This is not us ramming atheism down your throats. This is us saying, religion, back off. Making video after video after video about the non-existence of something um, is, is just weird. What's weird is following that something that doesn't exist and then insisting that everyone around you follow it or its rules that are written down in a book from thousands of years ago. Now that's weird. Talking about the non-existence of that thing to try and convince the people trying to make us behave a certain way based on that non-existent thing, that's just common sense. That's self-defense. That's us trying to fight for our rights against you assholes that won't let go of your fairy tale. Duh. If you okay, you're an atheist. Cool, that's fine. Um, and if your your gripes are the bad things that are happening because of atheism, I'm pretty sure he means theism. Well, then that's what your video content should be about. No, I don't bloody think so. For a couple of reasons. Allow me to explain. You see, number one, we want you to stop. We want you to stop doing the things that hurt us. And we don't want you to just stop the one thing you're doing. We want you to stop keeping on doing them. We want you to stop coming up with new ones. We want you to stop being those 
asshole theists that make life harder for the rest of us. And number two, the best way to do that is to show you that you're wrong and that your God doesn't exist. That's the right way to go about this. Because, uh, let's face it, faith and belief are the small thermal exhaust port right below the main port that blows up the Death Star that is your faith. Seriously, if we can show you that, yeah, God doesn't exist, and you're wrong, and you should stop being religious, our problems go away. They're over. Because then you realize, hey, we don't have to do all that crazy crap that makes these people miserable, because our religion isn't real. The thing that tells us to do those things isn't real. You see, that's why we argue against that shit. That's why we don't pick a single issue and just argue against that. We want to show you that your religion is full of crap. Because it is. And when you realize that, you'll stop hurting us. Uh, a million videos out there saying, well, because I don't believe in God, I don't believe in hell. Well, duh. We know that. So quit threatening us with it. Seriously, every time someone says, oh, I'm X or I'm doing Y that religious people don't agree with, we're told, have fun in hell. <laughs> like that's going to do any fucking good. But if you know we don't believe in hell, why do you keep trying to threaten us with it? Huh, religious people? Huh? Huh? Why do you keep doing it? Is that the only weapon you've got in your arsenal? Really? Well, seems to me like someone's been a victim of their own utter fail. Why don't you show us why it is you don't believe? Show us the proof. Show us, like, the result. These bad results of religion. What are you kidding? We do that all the time. Uh, okay. Oh, hey. I like the Muppets. I like the Muppets quite a bit, actually. Fraggle Rock was great. I was a fan of Muppet Babies when I was younger. Jim Henson, the guy who created the Muppets, died of a perfectly curable disease because he was a religious, a Christian scientist. They didn't believe in modern fucking medicine, right? He, he died of something inherently curable. We, we, we'd, we'd known how to cure that shit for ages and he died of it because of his religious beliefs. You want to talk about harm? How about the Holocaust? Huh? All those Jews killed because they were the wrong religion? I mean, sure, that's religion fighting each other instead of, like, you know, something bad happening specifically to atheists, but so what? If I'm only allowed to care for other atheists, well, I'm a really bad person, atheist or not. I don't want to see people die like that, and certainly not for something as stupid and fake and wrong as religion. Do, do I have to point out any other examples? Stem cell research, okay? We could be curing lots of other things, not just what Jim Henson died of. Uh, and we're not allowed to because the religious people want to block this shit because they think little cells on a fucking Petri dish are sacred somehow. You people are so full of crap. And, and I'm supposed to respect you? I'm supposed to, to, to back off? I'm supposed to just uh, not fight against this Bullshit? No. The biggest problem, I think, with Christianity is that it's interpreted by people who want to control rather than people who want to spread the truth. On the one hand, yeah, I hate that it's used by those who want to control, too. But on the other hand, no, it's not the truth. And if we can prove that it's not, maybe you assholes will stop using it as a weapon, as a cudgel to beat the rest of the world into submission. Um, Bionic Dance. It's me. I just recently subscribed to her and started watching her videos. And apparently haven't learned a damn thing. Not yet, anyway. But if you stick around, maybe I'll get you thinking right. She seems like an intelligent person. You know, and um, I like her videos. I like her green screen. Um, I like the way she cuts. I like the way um, I like the way she does her videos. That they're, they're pretty good. Well, you know, I went to film school, right, for about a year and a half, and then I went to animation school for another year and a half. I got some experience at this shit. I've seen a lot of her videos about 
God and the non-existence and all these arguments, but what I don't see and is any real reason to become an atheist. The fact that God doesn't exist isn't a good enough reason to be an atheist. But you know what? I never became an atheist. I started out as one. I mean, let's face it, when you're born, you got no knowledge of even the, the concept of God. Religion means nothing to a newborn. You have to be taught to be a theist. But you start out an atheist. Because atheism and theism, they're about belief. They're not about which family you're born into. They're not about which theocracy you happen to be born into. They're about whether or not you personally believe. You're not a theist unless you believe in God. And you can't believe in God as an infant because you don't know the concept. So you don't become an atheist. You actually become a theist. You stop being an atheist when you become a theist. It's how it works. But let's look at it this way. Why should you be an atheist? Well, if God doesn't exist, it seems like a really damn good reason to not believe in the fucker. If God doesn't exist, then uh, going to church, saying prayers, uh, believing, it's all pointless. It's all useless. There's no reason to do it. Why do you think we spend so much time trying to disprove your idiot God? It's because he doesn't exist. There's no evidence for it. You insist on us having faith. Faith is belief without proof. What's the difference between faith and gullibility? What's the difference between belief without proof and playing make-believe, playing pretend? I argue against religion because people are being hurt by it, but I also argue against it because it's intellectually stupid, because it's intellectually bad. It, 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 it doesn't work. It's, it's a bad concept. It's a non-starter, logically. That's why I argue against it. You've clearly missed the point of all the arguments. Are you ready to listen yet? Or are you still going to go off like we're saying something we're not? You know this saying, and we're going to keep saying it, that uh, the devil's biggest triumph ever was convincing mankind that he doesn't exist. Yeah? Well, if your God exists, then his biggest failure was convincing us that he didn't. Why is faith so fucking important to your religion, huh? Why do we have to have the belief without proof part? If your god showed up on some fiery horse with a, a, a glowing sword and shouted, Follow me! He might have a loyalist in me, uh, assuming I agreed with his values, which I don't. But if I did, and your god actually showed up, I might be a follower. But I never will, so long as faith is required. So, even if there is a devil, which I don't believe either, but well, let's assume for a moment there is, and let's assume there's a god, your god's biggest flub was deciding to hide himself. Add some substance to your I don't believe in god videos. Can you start doing that? Can you start, you know, showing um, us religious people, uh, the followers of Christ, what's wrong, so we can do something about it? John Haywood was paraphrasing Jeremiah 5.21 when he said, There are none so blind as those who will not see. And I will say there are none so deaf as those who will not hear. And that's you, pal. Because our videos have had substance. They have all along. You've just ignored it. You've just missed the point entirely. And I hope this video clears it up. Because frankly, I don't want to deal with you anymore. Not if you're going to be this much of a chowder monkey. So the difference between your group and our group is that we will band together and do something about it, while you guys will just sit at home, scratch your ass, and bitch. You really think so? Really? Because that's not true at all. There are plenty of atheist meetup groups out there. There are plenty of atheist hangouts on Facebook. Uh, there's atheist communities right here on YouTube. Of course, the only reason we band together is to fight against you assholes who try to hurt us, who try to make life worse for us because of your religion. That's the only reason for atheists to gather. There's nothing else to bring us together. 
I mean, come on, what are we going to do? Sit around and talk about how much we don't believe in God? No. We sit around and talk about how much we're getting screwed over by you guys and what we can do about it. So maybe, just maybe, you should let us know where religion is going wrong and help us fix it. All right. You're believing in something that doesn't exist. That's where you've gone wrong. Stop doing it. That'll fix it. Just a thought. <laughs> thought? Anyway, gang, I'm done with this guy. I mean, seriously, unless he wants to actually shape up and listen to what people tell him, what's the point? Seriously, there's no reason to bash my head against this particular brick wall unless there's a chance it's going to fall down. I don't see that chance. But hey, maybe I'm wrong. At least I can admit that. Most theists don't. Until next time, fellow space travelers. Please take the time to rate this video. And hey, if you dig what I do, subscribe. You might also enjoy my webcomic, The Adventures of Kinira Baxter. You'll find a link in the info bar, along with a link to my Zazzle store. Buy a t-shirt today. Ignorance killed the cat. Curiosity was framed.